What's going on guys? My name is Loss and welcome to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. So guys, it is October 8th, 2018 over there in Japan and with that we got our weekly reset update. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that we got today. As always, shout out to Roboloid for allowing me to use his translations in my update videos. You can always find him on Discord or on Twitter at Roboloid. So, uh, first things first, guys, let me make sure that I click the correct one. I believe it's that one. Yes, it is. All right. So, first things first, guys, is we got the uh, the VIP for this week, which is going to be seven extra brooms and two elemental gems of each for this week's VIP. Uh, I mean, there's nothing much more to say. I mean, there's no extra extra jewels. There's no uh, VIP medal for this week, etc., etc. So, it's up to you as to whether or not you want to pick up this week's VIP or not. Uh, next thing is, let's go ahead and jump into it. I believe it's this one. Yes, it is. So, uh, Union Cross. So, up until October 18th, you have to complete one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Union Cross boards to pick up the Lucifer Balloon for yourself this time and not for your spirit. Because last week we had the Lucifer Balloon for our spirit or pet, whatever you want to call it. And then the uh, the return of the Starlight Boost, Starlight Keyblade Boost that comes back already. Which is uh, interesting that they would bring it back, but there is, a we there is a reason as to why they brought it back, and I will let you guys know here in just a second. But uh, yeah, you got up until October 18th to complete these Union Cross boards. Uh, next thing is going to be... Let me make sure that I hit the right one. No, I did not. <laughs> Rip me. Alright, there we go. So, we got another event coin quest, guys. With these quests, clear 10 event quests in a certain number of turns to get broom servants, magic mirrors, and event coins. Just like I said in a few a few videos ago, is that we were going to be getting more events throughout the month of October since those event boards do last for one month. So, this is another opportunity for you to pick up these event coins so that that way you can complete all of the event boards that we got going on, which is like... Which is the, uh, the, what do you call it? The attribute boards, uh, the avatar boards, and I think there was like some magic mirrors, making brooms, etc., etc. in there. So, uh, yeah, you have now have the opportunity to be able to pick up some more event coins, and this does last up until October 14th. So, make sure to, uh, do those, uh, to do these 10 quests before that event, uh, goes out. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is going to be the biggest bait, in my opinion. <clears throat> that we've had for a long long time these are all of the reprint prime banners uh that we have gotten as of late guys 100 percent, i can tell you straight up right now do not pull on these bait banners uh unless you are just wanting to pick up uh these medals because it's your favorite character then that's all up to you but in my recommendation and for me personally i am not going to be pulling on these banners because there's really no point to do so, but at the same time, it gives me an it gives me a thought that we could be seeing the next tier prime medals coming up if they are reprinting these previous old prime medals that are tier five. So we could be seeing tier six prime medals coming up very very soon, which is why I say it's best to keep saving your jewels. Don't waste your jewels on these banners again unless you want to, you know, pick it up because it's your favorite character, the metal looks nice, then that's all up to you. I'm just letting you know from my personal opinion of uh, what I'm going to be doing with these banners and it's going to be an easy skip for me. But if you are curious as to what each of these banners feature, uh, they do feature one six star prime metal of your choosing per pull depending on the banner. Uh, one seven star prime medal of your choosing choosing within the five mercy pool and then one seven star tier four slash tier five every time that you pull on one of these banners so i mean there's nothing much else for me to say guys i mean it's self-explanatory but in, in my opinion it's an easy skip so make sure to just keep saving your jewels because you really don't need these prime medals when i feel like they are going to be releasing the next tier uh prime metal set so Again, it's all up to you guys, it's just my personal opinion. Uh, aside from that though guys, they also went ahead and announced this week's PvP Keyblades, which is a, a day early, but okay, I guess that way it'll get us prepared. So if you want to get, say, your sub slots prepared for the next week of PvP, or if you want to go ahead and start making up setups for you PvP Keyblades, that's all up to you. But in a way, it's a, it's a nice way to kind of get prepared 
uh, for a, a nice way to get players prepared, prepared, excuse me, I can't now talk today, uh, for next week's PvP. So, the next Keyblades for PvP this week, or starting tomorrow morning, is going to be Starlight, Three Wishes, and Diamond Dust. So, pretty much a Magic Week, magic week guy, so yeah. Make sure to take care of everything and uh, and whatnot for uh, PvP for this week, aka your sub slides and whatever setup settings that you're gonna use. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that's going to be the update video for what it is that we got today. Uh, one thing to note is that we could potentially get a story update this week, and it's going to follow up. If you missed my last video that I uploaded yesterday, it's going to most likely follow up the main storyline of Kingdom Hearts in your cause. So if you have not completed your story quest, definitely make sure to do that as soon as possible because we should be seeing that update uh, Wednesday night. Uh, aside from that, Luxord, which is the next Organization 13 event, should be Friday morning for all of my JP players out there, Saturday uh, morning for all of my global players out there. So uh, make sure that if, uh, if you are planning on pulling on the banner or, you, you know, other things here and there, uh, make sure that you got those uh, 1500 jewels so that that way you can pull on that metal if the metal is actually good we don't know yet i don't know yet so i'm just letting you guys know ahead of time and then after that i mean we should be getting another tiny little game update or in-game update so we should be seeing more metal slot albums in our metal album so yeah definitely be on the lookout for that but i just wanted to keep you guys ahead or keep you guys informed ahead of time for whatever it is that could be coming out later this week but uh, that's about it, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see some more future cuts content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And apologies that I'm just like, I don't know, mispronouncing my words and everything today. I don't know. It must be Sunday. But uh, yeah, take care, guys. And I will see you guys next time.